Milwaukee Elementary students and families, and welcome to our special broadcast called We Are Family 50263. Today is Thursday, April 30th, 2020. Students who are celebrating their birthdays today are Julia B, Avery N, Andy O, and Noah S. Happy birthday. This week, we've been focusing our leadership skills on habit six, synergize. This means that I get along well with others, even when we don't see eye to eye. A challenge for all of us can be looking for a third alternative when you are having difficulty agreeing with someone. So it's not your way or my way, but a third alternative. Now let's enjoy a read aloud from a Waukee Elementary staff member. Hi, Waukee Elementary. I'm Mrs. Hildebrand, and I'm going to read to you The Wordy Birdie by Tammy Saar. The Wordy Birdie. Yay, you're so close to the story right now. Just turn the page. She's very excited. I am too. We are in the pretty good book. The Wordy Birdie. Meet Wordy Birdie. Wordy Birdie has lots to say. It starts the moment she wakes up. See? Hello, sunrise. Hello, pink sky. Hello, orange sky. Hello, yellow sky. Hello. Oh, hello, gorgeous. Sometimes Wordy Birdie talks about what she likes. I like spaghetti and unicorns and library books and polka dots and standing on my head and... Sometimes she talks about what she doesn't like. I don't like tall grass or turtlenecks or long lines or tuna salad or losing my balloon or... Sometimes she asks questions. Why do zebras have stripes? Is Bigfoot real? Are we there yet? But she never stops talking long enough to get the answers. Wordy Birdie is not the world's best listener. Oh, please. Are we talking about the same bird here? Okay, okay. Wordy Birdie is terrible at listening. That's more like it. She never listens to anybody, even when she should. This one time, I totally went swimming with a narwhal. My third cousin, Barb, is a penguin. Really? Do you think there's an award for bird of the year? Fact. People used to think the world was flat and you could fall right off the end. One day, Wordy Birdie takes a walk into the deep woods. Naturally, she was, she has plenty to say. That's a pretty tree, and that's a pretty danger sign, and that's a pretty tree. Danger ahead, turn back. Before long, Squirrel zips in front of Wordy Birdie. Stop! Don't go any further. Does Wordy Birdie listen? She does not. Oh, a pine cone. Oh, a sign. Oh, a rock. Oh, a leaf. Soon, Rabbit dashes onto the scene. Go back while you still can. Does Wordy Birdie listen? She does not. Yay, my favorites. No trespassing. Strawberries for me and carrots for me and tomatoes for me. Then Raccoon gives a piece of advice. Run for your life. Does Wordy Birdie listen? What do you think? Whoa, it's getting darker and darker and darker and darker and darker and looky he looky there. White circles and triangles. I love white circles and triangles and rawr, 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 rawr. Oh, do squirrel, rabbit, and raccoon just leave wordy birdie there? We do not. Come on, follow us this way. And Wordy Birdie, she listens. Hooray, that was almost unbearable. We made it. Then Wordy Birdie says thank you for, uh, thank you the best way she knows how. I love you guys. Like, I really, really, really love you. Seriously, I love you more than spaghetti and unicorns and... Wordy Birdie still likes to talk a lot. See? Good night. 
sunset. Good night, orange sky. Good night, purple. Oh, good night, you. But sometimes, remember when we totally saved you from the bear? We were brave and amazing, and that was so cool. She likes to listen, too. Now that's what I call a good story. I'm going to read it again and again and again, and then she'll read it approximately 523 more times. This is true. Yep. Thanks for sharing that with us. Readers are leaders. Now it's time for our school's mission statement. Our leadership mission is to empower everyone to see greatness in themselves and others, learn through exploration, and lead by example. Thanks for joining in. We are family.